hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel so this is uh, for the subject uh, control systems so this is one of the important subject for uh, triple students so i'll start with the first unit and the first topic is basic components of control system all right so what is this control system actually what we are studying okay what is it is a system in which the variations in the output quantity are continuously measured through feedback and are compared by input quantity such a system is called control system see <coughs> basically the thing control okay if someone is telling you you know they are controlling you that means what control means just basic uh, you can understand by basic language means somebody is giving you input that means some command they are giving you okay they are trying to control you control you means it your control you are controlling or not you will get in the form of some output right so some input is given okay through a feedback that input is given through feedback okay and that is compared okay so that this output is obtained that comparison of in, uh, the feedback and the input what you are giving that is nothing but called as control system okay so see when input is excitation signal it is also called as command signal that means excitation so you're giving some input to a system okay that is called as excitation signal i mean here input are in the form of signals right so if you're giving some signal that is called as command signal is also called excitation all right so now output <coughs> sorry output is obtained after processing the signal now we have given the input this will control system will process that input okay and uh, the output is obtained so that output what is uh, whatever we have got is called as a response okay and it is also called as control variable so see the basic components what we require in a control system is this one this is a diagram you need to remember this okay so see r of t this is the reference input we are giving to an error detector then to a controller plant output this is the output value and this is given as feedback to this error detector so how this will function the what the all these parts are we will see in this video okay we will start by plant so what is this plant over here is here is where actually the process is performed okay that is a conversion of the input signal to output signal happens in the plant so input to plant is control signal you are giving some input signal here it which is generated by the controller okay so the plant performs the necessary action and generates desired output which is called control signal so what does this plant do it will perform the necessary action what it should do and it will generate an output which is called as control signal okay i'll just uh, draw roughly which i have just shown this is an error detector this is the input given okay so after this you will be having a controller controller this is a controller and then here you will be having a plant okay this is the output and from here you are giving a feedback Okay, feedback to this error detector. This is error detector. Okay, now we said input is given. We'll start with plant. So plant, like I said, here the processing will begin. What it does this? It gets a signal from this controller. Uh, it will process that signal and it will give to the output. This output is called as control signal. Now what is this feedback? Feedback. So this is sample output is given to the input. The output, whatever you have got, that we are giving to this feedback. what this feedback does is it will take that signal and it will give to the error detector it will ask this error detector to check whether the uh, the output whatever we have got is correct or not it will ask this error detector to detect any errors okay so that is what generally we will be giving negative feedback is employed for controlling of the systems as it provides accuracy better stability and reject disturbances that's why we are giving this as a feedback they will ask you in viva somewhere like why do you know we should give feedback because to have better accuracy stability of the signal and to reject any disturbances in the signal we will be using this feedbacks okay next error detector now see to this error detector it has two inputs now this input you know the reference input and the from the feedback input so what it does is it will detect errors in these two signals and the difference of the signal is sent to again to the controller okay <coughs> see it is used to generate error signal error detector is generate error signal 
two inputs of the error detector that is feedback signal and reference signal are given right it generates an output which is difference of two signals this error signal is fed to controller the difference of the signal is given to the controller okay now what does this controller does it will amplify the signal whatever the signal it has got from here it will amplify it okay see here controller it amplifies the error signal modified signal is obtained by controlled uh, action of controller it the amplified signal that is nothing but it is modified signal now it is obtained by control action of controller and passed to the plant for output rectification and then again it is passed to the plant for output rectification so when once the cycle is done again you will get the output signal value okay so this is how the basic concept of control system works how a signal works is based on this basic uh, diagram okay i think this is clear we'll have few more videos uh, from this chapter in the upcoming videos so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe a lot more content on the way thank you